Best of r slash tales from retail episode 106. Subscribe for Reddit videos daily. I worked in a retail store in which the department I worked in was electronic office supplies such as computers, printers and other devices. One day a customer came in needing a printer and paper. I talked with him and helped him get some paper and and we worked our way over to printers so he could pick one out. We had one that he liked and wanted to buy it. Before we took the one he selected to the front I asked if there was anything else he needed and he said that he did, but wouldn't be able to get it because he was on a tight budget and barely had enough money for the printer. Luckily for him we had a sale going online for $50 off certain printers, and that particular one qualified. The only stipulation is that the customer had to buy it through the website. I told him as much and that if he ordered it as an online pickup order we can process it and he can leave with it within a few minutes. He seemed pretty nice and friendly the whole time when I was talking with him and he thanked me, paid for the paper he had and left the store to I assume put his paper in his car while he navigated our website to make his online purchase. When he came back and about 10 minutes later his persona changed so much it was like night and day. He found me and exclaimed in a harsh tone you didn't tell me I had to have a credit card to pay for it online. Responded oh I'm sorry, do you not have one? No I don't. I only have cash. I want you to apply the online discount so I can buy it now. I said I'm sorry but I can't do that. Online discounts only apply to when you buy it through our website. He got angry and demanded to speak to a manager. I obliged and got the manager on duty and he started berating me to her saying that I was just trying to get him out of the store so I wouldn't have to deal with him and he kept insisting we give him the discount I told him that was online. She tried saying the same thing to him. That it was a store policy and we have different promotions running on our products at different times and the store could get in trouble if we gave this particular discount through an in-store purchase. He didn't like that answer either so he went back to his car to grab his paper and returned it, cursing up a storm the entire time. During the return he took my name and my manager's name to file a complaint to corporate for such bad service to him. So much for doing my job and trying to be helpful to save the guy money. Thank you. Next, I currently work at a gas station. We have signs and lines for social distancing. A lady came in just after my shift was over and my manager was working. The lady disregards the signs and steps right up to the counter and has mostly junk food. My manager mentioned the signs and asked her to step behind the line on the floor. The lady looked at my manager and with a straight face said I don't understand why you guys need to do this. This is just a gas station. It's not like this is a grocery store. She was very condescending in her tone and it came off like we were less important than those anywhere else. My manager actually lost her cool and started yelling at this lady about how we are considered an essential service and it's like this everywhere. By the end of it she banned her from the store. Thank you. Next. This took place many years ago. We are a retail store that advertises our products on online selling platforms. 50 60 something man comes in with a 40 50 something friend in tow whom co-worker is acquaintance with. Man starts browsing around and later comes up to the counter asking XX price for a product. Co-worker says that we cannot give XX price as it is manufacturer controlled and we risk our dealership if reported. There has been issues previously whereby other sellers advertised the product at a ridiculous price and there is a counterfeit version of said product which probably resulted in this price discrepancy. Manufacturer has since controlled the issue by banning anyone who does this from their dealership. Man proceeds to browse again leaving the product on the counter. When he was done browsing, he asks again that we honor XX price as it was advertised online. We panic a little, as it is below our cost and if we have made a mistake in the online advertised price, and asks him to show us where he saw this. Turns out he got XX price from another seller who also advertised on one of the online selling platforms we advertise on. Man continues insisting that we honor the advertised price by the other seller. I'm not sure how this even came up but the man starts saying his life has been tough and that we, 2030s, had an easy life. I mean come on, what does that have to do with anything? Anyway, co-worker decides that was the last straw and proceeds to keep the product and refuses to sell the product. Willing buyer, willing seller, man continues rambling while being dragged out of the store by his friend. Thank you, next. Background, I used to work at an outdoor gear shop that did a lot of consignment. It happened that this store was in an area with a large, 
drunk homeless population that would occasionally come in trying to sell boots they found or buy cheap shoes. For the most part this wasn't a problem and I would try to help them as best as I could, but occasionally I would have some pretty bizarre interactions. One day I was working the front desk and this overweight homeless dude comes in with one of his man boobs hanging out of his shirt and reeking of a liquor at 10am. He starts enthusiastically talking at me totally incoherently, but I kind of make out that he is asking if we are the place that buys things. Sir, we don't buy things outright, but we do sell them on consignment, so you only get the money when the item sells. At this point he opens up the plastic bag he had been carrying and slams four packages of steaks onto the front desk, one of which was open, and says he would like to sell them on consignment. I tell him that unfortunately we cannot sell steaks on consignment, so he then attempts to just give them to me. I declined, offered him a new bag for his steaks, and hoped he would just leave. He stands there muttering incoherently for a moment, then repeatedly apologized, I think, and rushes out the door into the snow with his tits still hanging out. Thank you, next. I am the assistant manager in a small retail store and one of the things we sell is $4 SIM cards. We only sell the SIM cards. Any phone plans require you to go online and purchase to active. Enter the old lady, OL. I get called to the front to help this OL. She seemed to be a bit confused on the product which is understandable. We've had customers in the past think they were cards to add minutes to your phone. I do my best to explain it and she seemed to understand and I left back to work. I get called back several minutes later after she bought the SIM card and told me that she need a gift card or something to buy the phone plan because she doesn't have a credit card to buy a plan online. I simply told her that the store only sells the SIM cards, we handle nothing else. She got upset and left. My cashier at the time told me that when she was buying the SIM card she was actually waiting for him to give her $25 to buy the phone plan. I can understand she's of an older generation and phones may not be something she understands that well but we don't pay for customers services. I have no idea where she got the idea that we would. Thank you. Next. I work at a petrol station attached to a supermarket in the UK. For the past 2-3 weeks, our petrol station kiosk has been closed to protect staff and customers during lockdown, with some pumps closed off and only using the night pay window to take payments. The only things we're selling are fuel, anything from the forecourt bunker, wood, coal, disposable barbecues, screen wash fluid etc, and tobacco products. We're also allowed to use our discretion when it comes to things like engine oil, and NHS and emergency service workers are also allowed this discretion when it comes to shop items. I work two evenings a week and a Saturday afternoon, with overtime being done when asked. On Thursday night. We genuinely had a customer ask us if we were still open for juice, by which he meant fuel. Wait, we're a petrol station. Why the hell else would we be open? Last night, about 30 minutes before we closed, we had two women come to the window and asking if we were still open. I said yes, and they subsequently asked for a bottle of Lambrini. We don't even sell alcohol at our petrol station, and even if we did, we wouldn't be able to sell any at the moment. Apparently, it was a piss take that we don't sell booze. On that note, an application to extend the main store's alcohol license to cover the petrol station was made a couple of months ago, but we've heard nothing since. I doubt it's very high on the local council's priority list. As a little addendum, I've been doing odd shifts in the main store over the past couple of weeks, including portions where the store's closed, which means staff can get away with putting their own music on and wear headphones. Provided the volumes at a level where any alarms can still be heard. I love it. A couple of annoyances I've got are where customers don't respect social distancing and reach over you to grab stuff if you're kneeling down low to put something out or pull cardboard off the shelf. Made even worse if they're wearing gloves and masks. It's like they don't care about anyone else so long as they're okay. The other grievance is customers who make social distancing difficult by standing around on their phones in the middle of the aisle. How is that helpful to anybody in the slightest? Thank you. Next. Right so one of my co-workers texted me reminding me of this incident, and I just had to share it here. Bear with me as it's my first post. TDLR at the bottom. So I worked at a retail place from the beginning of 2018 till the present day. During the summertime, the store gets busier and busier as the season picks up. 
It's pretty hectic on weekends, but luckily most of the people working there were on holiday, so it was no hassle at all. Except for one day where everyone decided not to show up. For that 8 hour shift, it was only me, another associate, and two of my managers. It was also one of our busiest days of the entire year as I was told later on. And of course, with my luck, a group of about 12 foreign Asian people comes into the store, just to tackle it on. Only one of them speaks any resemblance of English, and it was a hassle trying to pick out shoes, clothing, and other accessories for all of them. The other employees were also backed up, so no chance of any help coming along the way. At some point, the English speaker comes up and asks for me to unlock our changing room for one of his friends. Changing rooms were locked so we could pick out the clothes left inside and it doesn't become a hassle at closing. I told him to wait a bit as I had to pick out shoes for the other people in the group. It didn't take long, only about 5 minutes. Then I went to unlock the door and waited. And waited. And waited. Turns out the Asian guy got impatient and started to take off his clothes and change right in the middle of the store. My god. Imagine having a conversation with a middle aged man in his underpants about why he has to change in the room. Now pretend he doesn't speak English at all and the only translator there was gone. It was a lot of pointing fingers and fucking god knows what. At least he wasn't like the other people I encountered and tried to argue with me about it. He took his clothes and changed in the room. Turns out that other cultures have people change anywhere they want. I thought that was ridiculous until a week later I see a European kid just changing half naked in front of the full store. Oh well, at least I got a decent commission based on that sale I made. The funniest part was that my manager, really strict guy and intimidating, bit fun to be around, saw all this happening and straight up laughed for the first time ever that I or the other workers have seen. Not a chuckle, a laugh. Who knew he had a sense of humor? In fact, he thought it was so funny that he told two kids to not go into the section unless they wanted to be traumatized for life. All in all, that was a crazy day and one that I won't forget. Although I'd really like to get that picture of the guy in his underwear out of my head. TLDR. Guy gets impatient to get into the dressing room. Starts changing outside and causes an unforgettable mental image in my head. Also causes my manager to laugh for the first time.